Okay, welcome back. And the next section, the next element we're going to tackle is the testimonials. So these are things that your clients or your customers have said about your services or your business, <clears throat> which gives a nice uh, social proof, what we call, um, for your business, for your services, uh, so that other people feel better because they can see that someone has tried it, they're not the first ones, and it's really important for other people to know that they're not the only uh, customers that you've ever had. And so you can put these testimonials on your page and be able to see, uh, visitors can see, okay, you know, someone has tried this, someone has said it's a good service, uh, maybe it's something that I can try. So you just click on that. There's only one <clears throat> element, and we'll go through some of the parameters of this element. You can see it's uh, text on a white background. There's actually some little call out boxes here in very light gray. And you have the ability not to change the boxes, but you have the ability to change uh, the text. So you could actually change this to a different, <clears throat> a different font if you wanted to. And then you can actually change these uh, pieces of text down here. This is the person's name. <clears throat> and this is, uh, you've seen it often, you know, what their position is or what company they're from. You could actually use this as a link <clears throat> to go to somecompany.com. You could insert that link and now, you know, uh, you've seen that before where you kind of give them a little bit of link love. And uh, when the user clicks on this, they can go to the person's website or their company website. <clears throat> this is just a basic headline. You can also change this or link this to something else. <clears throat> Our block parameters are here. We can show or hide the title so you don't have to have a title on it. You can hide or show the author name. You can hide or show the author's title. Uh, you also have the option of how many columns. So these are columns. Right now we have it set at three. You could also do two columns across if you wanted to make them a little bit more stretched out, a little bigger. You could do four columns and then it would be one, two, three, four. Really what they're saying is four, four of these. Um, if the screen were wide enough to hold four across, I believe it would. And then you start to get into having five across or six would be two of three. So really it's saying columns, but it's meaning how many testimonials do you want to show. So now you're getting into sections of three. So you could say nine, so you have three rows of nine, or 12 or 15, or if you were really popular, I suppose, or you wanted to have a page only for testimonials, people uh, talking about your work and your services, you could do 21 uh, of those. But the default is three. Again, you can change to put a background image on it with a parallax effect or not, with an overlay effect. Or you can just choose to add a background color to it. And the background color will set off. You can see these are inside of white boxes, and it will really set off um, the testimonials. And then you'd have to go in and make some changes to these. Notice, by the way, once you change one of a certain type in some of these elements, it will actually change all of them. So you don't have to go through and make changes to every one. So once I change one, it changes all of them. So you can see, let's change the size to 20, and you can see that they all go up equally. Uh, so some of these elements are all tied together in the CSS code. And so once you make a change to one, it's a... Uh, it's like a global change, so it makes it across all the elements inside the larger element. Um, you can change the color here to maybe a white. And because this one is a link, it's set off a little bit differently, and so it does not change the others. But if I were to unlink this, um, you could see that it would go back to being just this regular gray. And we can make that white, and then it would change all of them to white. So this is the testimonials block. Uh, very easy to work with, and very easy to just drop in your own testimonials. Uh, you know, you can just type in your own testimonials here, however you want to add them. And then you would have 
what people are saying about your business specifically. All right, uh, the next text block that we're going to uh, get to is called the social blocks. And these are elements that allow you to both share the page and for people to follow you. So join me for that one, and thanks for watching.